Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at CES in Las Vegas and I'm talking to Davide on the booth of Sensoria. Sensoria is a really innovative product designed for runners, something I'm very interested in. Start by describing the product, tell me, tell me how it works and how you came up with the idea. So most runners in the United States uh, have a problem because they get injured a lot. Uh, there are 54 million runners in the United States mm -hmm. and 65 to 80 percent of them get injured every single year. So we looked at it and we actually read all the research about it and the research is pretty clear. If we, if we are running with the, uh, with the wrong cadence and we are heel striking and over striding, it's like being hit by a sledgehammer a thousand times a mile. That's the level of impact forces we are subject to not good for us, no. right? So what we built is a smart sock with embedded textile pressure sensors that can actually tell you not just how far and how fast you run, but also how well you run. Okay, and within the package, you've got a sock, you've got a cuff there that collects the data, you're then transmitting through Bluetooth to an app. That app is then also, as well as collecting that data, is able to provide me with reinforcement or with advice as I run. How does that work? We call it virtual coach. So you select the type of running you want, your goals, but also the type of foot landing technique and your cadence that you want to keep during your run. And we have an audio virtual coach that while you listen to your favorite music, interrupts the music with either positive reinforcements or feedback, right? Okay, okay, so it'll advise me to lengthen my stride, shorten my stride, land more on the front of my foot or the back of my foot. That's great. And what, I, what I've also found is that, you know, the one piece of technology I see being used for runners is, is when you buy the shoes. So you go buy the shoes, they put you on a treadmill with a camera or with an iPad at the back, yep. and they, they slow it down and they do some analysis. Can you actually add value to that process as well? Absolutely, I, I think you're absolutely right. Right now, the shoe selection process, in the best case scenario, is designed to be done in a specialty store with a fully instrumented treadmill. Hmm. Most of us still buy shoes with just based on color and style. Yeah. And uh, maybe some friends telling us these are great, right? But we are actually enabling for the first time, I think, a quantified shoe shopping experience by providing data. So if you actually select the shoes and populate what we call the shoe closet in the Sensoria app, we keep track of how many miles or kilometers you have been running or walking with those mm -hmm. shoes. So at 300 miles, we can tell you, take a look at your shoes, it may be time for an upgrade. Okay. <laughs> but also, even more importantly, we can tell you, Philip, you're faster with these shoes. Right. Philip, you're off cadence more often with these shoes. Okay. Or you're heel striking more, or forefoot striking more with these shoes. So you can actually compare shoes based on quantified data instead of just look and feel. Yeah, that's really, really, really important. And what you've developed here for me is a genuine wearable. You're in the wearables area, and I see a lot of people in the wearables area that have got what I would call electronic products that they're just putting on a on an armband or on a bracelet or something. You've actually had to engage with the apparel industry and with the electronics industry. Has that been a challenge in terms of getting electronics into the fabrics? It's been a massive, massive challenge from a technology standpoint because all these industries, the textile industry and the electronics industry and the software industry speak a different language, right? So going and talking to a sports and apparel manufacturing company about needing uh, sensors into a sock, we had to interview about 70 sock manufacturing companies to find one here in the US that was actually able to do what we were asking for. Wow. So non-trivial, no. Yeah. And in terms of the <laughs> support you've had, has that been in the design and development or do, do, you, have, do you have engineering expertise in, internally or are you predominantly a software well, and app company? We come from the software world, but uh, we had to build a very multidisciplinary team. So mm -hmm. we, we hired people from the textile materials world. Uh, we hired people with a math background, applied yeah. physics background for the algorithms. And of course, software and electronic engineering is important. These people, for the first three months, they were speaking a completely different language. Now they solve each other problems, right? Okay. So that's exciting. Yeah, so you've got that multi-discipline yeah. team working together. Absolutely. Last question, you've got some other products on the booth. You've got a heart rate monitor that connects through, again, through fabric. Again, I think a very important element. All of those, all of those different products, do they connect into the same app? And are those apps able to connect to other apps. A lot of people have their favorite running apps. I use Strava, for example. Uh, yes and yes. So uh, our Sensoria Fitness app that you can download from the App Store today, you can actually uh, connect a pair of socks 
a t-shirt with heart rate monitoring capabilities with textile sensors, or if you're a woman, a sports bra mm. with heart rate monitoring capability. But if you also have a favorite application, you can use our products, primarily our heart rate monitoring products, with those applications as well. Okay, because they're using Bluetooth. Bluetooth Smart. Bluetooth Smart is a technology that we use. But you okay. touched on a very, very interesting aspect, which is connecting multiple garments at the same time in mm. real time, we think is the future. We want to take away the plasticky devices. Yeah. As a runner, I don't want to run with more. I want to run with less. Yeah. Yeah. So we think the vision of Sensoria is that the garment is the next ultra personal computer. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. And I think that that openness to communicate with other apps is really, really important for that infrastructure as yeah, well. Yeah, we built, we built uh, what we call the Sensoria Developer Kit. And we actually have 50 developers right now building applications that go from uh, skiing to golf, but all the way to elderly patients yeah. rehab and diabetic foot complications. Yeah. Because, yeah. because this this technology can actually enable yeah. uh, pretty interesting scenarios. Yeah, well, I can see the application in golf because they, they, the foot movement's a huge part of the swing, but actually in, in lots of parts of life where the way you walk requires some adjustment, requires some coaching. Yeah, doctors, doctors refer to, yeah. to that as gait, yeah. which is the science of human yeah. locomotion. Yeah. Yeah. It's been around for a while, but like you said, there is no real-time, real-life tool to yeah. detect this data. So. Yeah, I'm monitoring. Fantastic. Well, it's a great product. You've had a very busy booth, so I guess it's been a successful show. Thanks for your time. Thanks for talking to Thank me. Thank you for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you.